Je ta pole ni ta gan missing ka bia bo ka munget nen wach missing ta tu tiet mai konye met ni tu ngat en cast tv ko ka ma ri ba ka munget ko gimi ten en tu ba tanetai ki ngalali a bo pa musa on na tiet ne bo ka sari missing ko ba yi siet ni sul dan sul dit ne bo musa on na tiet na tanana ko moring da school en ka na tai ta tu tu tiet ki ba musa on na tiet ko en ma ge tiet na sari ale ta mi ta kenya ka ge ba gen ka munget a gen gun ba ra ge tiet ne bo ro in da ge ne bo ge ni ron ngalali ko bu na ge ge ko ra In of sec chaba isian sugul nto kwa moringa school la sugul aro rwech missing agoba olei muchi chuti ta sugul ni ak te tuti ke ter ter chana magaya ngalek chaba admissions asi muchi nai chita ni mitan gani imache i muchi imache ni ya sugul ni tene unita kana imai so mane te mum so ngal tet ina le tos ne chige mok chinge kuno atok ama chata chinge chut ke be berta ne oeng ne bo ngal ale nyon olei mitan ak tawan det kora age kobun sugul ni ne bo moringa welcome uh, very much to this uh, segment uh, earlier on we, we, we discussed kind of did an overview of what Moringa is all about. Um, we have that you were that you must remember it. But uh, probably just introduce yourself to the viewers, then uh, we, we delve into issues of admissions, issues of qualifications or requirements for people to enroll. So maybe just your name and what you do at Moringa, then we take it from there. Thank you. Um, so my name is Esther Wangai. Um, I'm the interim director of admissions and marketing at Moringa. Um, my journey at Moringa started five years ago. Um, at the time we were enrolling very small cohorts, around 70 to 80 students, with only software engineering and data science courses. And we've seen tremendous things. Um, and now as one for 10 years, so just like uh, my colleague alluded to, we've seen you know, our cohorts grow to around 800 um, you know, admitted because of engineering. So I've been part of this transformation um, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And um, to, you know, we really like to encourage the youth and the young and the women, especially in Eldred, um, to think about tech and the opportunities that lie in tech. Um, and at Moringa, we are in, here and ready to advise um, and confirm and clarify what is the best career and uh, probably maybe some people you know, might have this notion that get getting into the tech space is a really difficult thing you know mm -hmm. when you think of computers and you know software engineering and all these things people hear that and they're like oh no 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 that's not for me mm -hmm. i mean is it true that it's a difficult career or profession to get into mm -hmm. and uh for one to get into Moringa, what what do they require? What what's what's needed from them? Thank you for that. Um, over the years, there was that notion um, that tech was a subset for a particular group, gender, for mm. example, mm. Um, and that's something that we've tried to demystify at Moringa. Yeah. Um, and our vision is pretty much a world in which anyone can create their future. Yeah. And a future in tech can mean various things. Um, we've really tried to diversify what mm. that means. Mm. Um, in terms of entry into tech, um, at Moringa, we have focused on you know, very, very beginner-friendly courses. I mean, even for someone who's just curious, um, not yet clear on you know, yeah. what the best career path is, mm. as you'll find most of our young people, and you know, even myself when I was Mm. It wasn't quite clear, especially around my strengths um, and my core competencies, what is actually the best career path for me. And at Moringa, we're actually solving for that. Okay. Um, during admissions, we address a couple of those um, challenges through a very rigorous um, criteria or selections criteria that mm -hmm. checks for a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Of course, we look at um, the education level with a bare minimum, you know, just high school graduate. We don't particularly look at the grades, oh. um, for example. So that should not be a challenge yeah, you know, for somebody yeah. thinking of, you know, I did not qualify in my case, so I did not mean a certain minimum requirement. Mm -hmm. That is something that we've really solved via other technical assessments okay. um, that we administer during admissions. Mm -hmm. um, this is also important for the candidate or for the student to identify your own strengths, identify, you know, what would be the best, um, or where would I find success um, mm -hmm. in tech? Um, as Claire, my colleague, alluded to, we have software engineering. We have courses in data science. 
um, for people who are strong in mathematics and logical oh, reasoning. Okay. We have courses or more creative courses such as uh, product design, which mm -hmm. are also technological courses in that segment. Mm -hmm. We have cybersecurity, which is a non-demand um, skill set right now. Okay. So in terms of entry level, this is something that we are able to guide each individual student as you come into Moringa mm -hmm. and ensure that you are actually placed in the, in the perfect career path mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. um, um, now that you know, clear that that you know mm -hmm. anyone really yeah. so long as you have an, uh, a high school uh, certificate mm -hmm. you can you know get into the assessment then you know where you can you, you can land mm -hmm. one of the things that has really been a stumbling block to many people you know not only accessing you know education in, in the tech field mm -hmm. just education in general higher education is the issue of financing you know, and even recently, you know, there's been all this hula baloo about band one, band two, band three in the Kenyan uh, higher education system. Um, and, uh, you know, when you hear something about tech, you might think, you know, I won't afford that, you know. So maybe just kind of shed light on how you, you, you how affordable, you know, wh what are the options that people have. Because one of the things that uh, we were mentioning earlier about, you know, people going to Finland and Canada and all these other places mm -hmm. is sometimes people go there because of scholarships. You know, they get a partial or a fully uh, fully funded uh, scholarship. And uh, I don't know, do, do you have ways of assisting those who really need or have a desire to learn mm -hmm. to get this kind of education? Do you have ways of supporting those who may not have, you know, all the money, but show a lot of determination and qualification for this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this has actually been a key, um, key sentiment that we are actively listening to mm -hmm. from our students mm -hmm. and um, in the parent and guardian fraternity. Yeah. And we have gone over and beyond to try and solve for this. Um, we have tried to make education as accessible. And when we say accessible, we mean across uh, various income backgrounds mm. um, to all our students. So um, we have our relatively shorter courses, you know, which you know, the price point is, you know, more um, towards you know, 50,000, which is, oh. you know, something that people are able to come in and yeah. just, yeah. Yeah. you know, do a short course, um, no more than 12 weeks. Uh, we have our longer boot camps. And with this, you know, we have, you know, figured out a way to prorate or okay. uh, stagger the tuition fees okay. across the duration of study wow. to ensure that then you know the entry requirement or the entry fees is mm. more affordable mm. um, and is not a barrier to somebody starting the course. Okay. Um, however, we have um, you know partnered over the years, um, for example, with the Mastercard Foundation to be able to offer up to a hundred percent scholarships, partial scholarships as well, um, and multiple students have benefited from this. Mm. Um, this is still ongoing. And so for students who are coming from lower backgrounds, um, they go through the financial aid or scholarship application okay. process mm. during admissions, mm -hmm. where then we determine, you know, uh, you know, percentage awards or, you know, how much scholarship we're able to award to a student. Mm. Over and above that, we've explored other financing options, which is need in this, in this market. Mm. Um, we have offered student loans or we've worked with partners who are able to offer student loans, mm -hmm. a loan which then you are able to repay once you graduate and have secured um, employment, employment yeah. or source of income. Mm -hmm. We have also explored income sharing agreements, which is also um, you know, a, you know, a way that student loans have evolved, whereby you know the partner and the student enter into an agreement uh, mm -hmm. around income sharing Again, once the student has graduated mm -hmm. and has secured employment. Mm -hmm. And all of this has been you know, to solve that financial barrier yeah. to accessing quality tech education. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'd encourage um, students and their guardians to really um, engage with us, mm -hmm. which you know, um, to understand um, these financing options mm -hmm. and ensure that this is not you know, the reason or the challenge that would you know, deter them. Mm -hmm. joining Moringa. Yes. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, I guess one of the best, um, you, you're the branding uh, guy around here, mm -hmm. is what you give out to the market. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if, you, if you produce quality, mm -hmm. you know, 
you'll get more people looking for you to say, you know what, um, we need more people from you, you know, for more graduates. Mm -hmm. um, now that you're doing 10 years in the, in the Kenyan market, mm -hmm. I mean, that shows you've been doing something good because otherwise you would not be admitting thousands of students. Mm -hmm. But my, my question is, what is the reception? Mm -hmm. What's the feedback you're getting from employers who've taken in your, your, your graduates? Mm -hmm. Are they giving you positive reviews? Are they, I mean, do you use such reviews to kind of realign what, what your curriculum mm -hmm. so that you can become more responsive to the market? Um, definitely. Mm -hmm. So with employer partners, um, this is an ongoing and always on conversation mm -hmm. because they are actively recruiting um, from Moringa. Okay. Um, over the last 10 years, like Claire alluded to, we had an in-house curriculum. Yeah. that we thought would cater to the demands at the time. Mm -hmm. But as we've evolved, employers uh, and the partners have kept on giving feedback in terms of the graduates that they're churning out, mm -hmm. how they're able to perform even within the first three months um, of their engagement. Mm -hmm. um, are they able to actually coexist in the working space? Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of you know, us, when we you know, graduated, um, we had the technical capabilities, yeah. but in terms of delivery and even being able to meet um, project guidelines, yeah. we really had to learn on the job. Oh, okay. And so this is something that we are listening to, feedback that actually help us helps us even determine the delivery in classroom, um, how best to prepare our graduates even for interviewing for yeah. these roles, because yeah. a lot of them actually would drop off at that stage. Mm. You're capable and you have the technical skills, but you're not able to present yourself. Yeah. You're not able to argue yeah. and make a case for why they should hire you. Yeah. And so we are solving for that on the go. Um, we also listen in terms of you know, the particular technical skill set. Is our curriculum actually meeting that? And we have actually then with flat iron curriculum, flat iron school curriculum, mm -hmm. which offers now an even more broad-based um, skill set mm -hmm. um, to ensure that we've covered all the bases with the employers. Mm -hmm. um, we have very, very successful alumni um, who are then our champions, mm -hmm. and even not just the students, but their parents as well. Even for students who are coming in now, a lot of them do say, I heard about you from somebody. Mm -hmm. I heard about you from a parent, yes. from a fellow colleague. We met at work and I knew where they had actually went to school. So the word is out there. It makes it a bit more, you know, um, relatable mm -hmm. um, as we, you know, speak to potential students. Yes, um, mm. they have heard about us. They mm. know uh, how we deliver. Mm. Yeah. And you know, um, again, going back to Eldoret, mm -hmm. um, a majority of, you know, people coming from that region have, you know, found ways of traveling overseas, mm -hmm. you know, either for, mostly for, for, for school, for, for academics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, can, can, can you to a certain extent offer Moringa as a, a more cost-effective option, mm -hmm. you know, because the amount of money that people spend to go overseas to maybe do a bachelor's for four years, a two-year master program, mm -hmm. and all those logistics involved, you know, and the risk now, there's that risk of, you know, someone might call you, tell you I'm going to take you to school, then somehow within a month or two of you landing overseas, mm -hmm. you're stranded. I mean, could this be a more cost-effective and safer, you could say, option? Because if, for instance, someone graduates with a, you know, a cyber security mm -hmm. certificate from you, um, depending on how good they are, they could potentially secure employment even overseas, you know, remote jobs and all this, because we know that this tech space is really about what you can deliver. It's not mm -hmm. really where, from where you do it. A lot of people are doing it remotely. So if, if you could say, you know, come to Moringa and we'll take X amount of money and you will not have to deal with, you know, agents and stuff. Mm -hmm. is, that, is this something that could potentially help other people? Because a lot of people don't have that ability to go overseas. Mm -hmm. and maybe this could be their saving grace. Yeah. You're actually right. Yes. Um, and like with flat iron curriculum, we actually are looking at 
um, quality education that could be applicable not only in the African market, yeah. but um, out abroad um, to ensure that our certification is credible and um, acceptable even in other markets and mm -hmm. regions. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, yes, people really look at the finances and the, um, the money aspect in terms of an investment. Yes. However, there is a separate investment that people don't consider, which is time. Yeah. Um, a four-year degree, um, two-year master's degree is a good investment, but it does take the time. Yeah. Um, at Moringa, you know, this is an intensive program. Within six to seven months, we will have gone through um, project-based learning that is um, industry relevant. Yeah. And you know, a lot of parents are actually very curious. You mean we can graduate from Moringa and go straight to work? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. And one thing that Moringa equips you with is the ability to learn, even after you're done with Moringa. So okay. we actually train you on how to even upskill post Moringa. Um, so there is a benefit, and here we have removed all barriers, like I mentioned. Mm -hmm. We are actually then putting the agency to the actual you know, beneficiary of this education. Okay. Education in this era should be accessible. There should be no um, intermediaries, for example, who are benefiting from this process. And Moringa has come in um, in, this, in this space and in the tech industry to solve um, quality that is affordable, um, and you know, does not take too long to deliver. Mm. So yes, um, I think um, it would be beneficial for you know somebody considering other education and other um, aspects in furthering their education to think about the overall um, you know weaknesses um, mm. and strengths of what they're considering. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I don't know how 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 can people interact with what you you are offering mm -hmm. i mean uh do they need to come physically to your offices mm -hmm. how much information can someone get online about your programs mm -hmm. and where can they get it so i think the first touch point and i think the way most people interact with us is never even on the website yeah. first of all is through word of mouth okay um or you'll find us on our social media we have a very very active youth engagement Mm -hmm. um, on social media, especially on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok as well. Mm -hmm. Constantly educating um, our audiences there on mm -hmm. the current courses that we are offering, mm -hmm. um, what is the technical or modules um, offered in each course, mm -hmm. the duration, the entry requirements. However, we really encourage um, that you get in touch with us. Mm -hmm. um, this could be through moringaschool.com website, um, where you can see all the courses available. All application as well is done on our website. So you do not need to particularly walk in to our office or submit physical documentation mm -hmm. for you to apply to Moringa. Mm -hmm. The application process starts on moringaschool.com mm -hmm. and we are able to guide um, through that. Mm -hmm. um, over and above that, you're able to still access us on phone. Um, you can access at our admissions advisors through one-on-one, -on -one, online or in-person mm -hmm. sessions, mm -hmm. um, which are tailored you know, to your individual needs. Mm -hmm. um, we also have you know, events, um, both in-person and webinars and masterclasses that you, know, you can tune into to just educate yourself around what is happening in the tech industry, in the tech mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. what is new, what is trendy. You know, um, even if you're not looking to particularly enroll at this point, you could engage with us on all our social media mm -hmm. at Moringa School. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're looking to enroll, our intake dates are publicly advertised on our, our website, moringaschool.com, um, and you can submit your application at any given point and we'll guide you from there. Okay. Yeah. And in, text, in in terms of, do you have like, because mm -hmm. traditionally you only have this January, May, mm -hmm. September. Are your intakes, you know, structured in that manner yeah. or is more of a rolling basis where just when you get a, a number of people interested in the same course you, mm -hmm. you take them up so in the past we did have you know, quarterly intakes especially for software engineering and mm -hmm. our data science courses okay. however we are trying to also you know um, cater to our industry where yes we will have january may and september intakes mm -hmm. and we will advertise those dates well in advance okay. for somebody to you know plan ahead plan for the year 2025 for example yeah. um and ensure that you know you're gearing up 
um, to book your slot and book mm -hmm. your, your, your your admission slot mm -hmm. in each of those intakes. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, the intake dates mm -hmm. are also um, on our website, okay. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ngai, for your insights about you know the brand of Moringa and how people can actually you know join mm -hmm. this bandwagon. Not only joining, but also you know the benefits that accrue from this uh, kind of training that you give out, the tech training, the various you know aspects within the tech space that you're offering. And uh, you know you've mentioned about that you're going to be advertising for you know the upcoming intex. Mm -hmm. And you know I cannot let that pass before I just you know when you want to advertise, you know where to go mm -hmm. uh, right here, as media group because yeah. especially when you're targeting Eldoret, and uh, it's not to brag, but um, our people, when I say our people, is the Kalenjin nation. Mm -hmm. They're really good in tech. If, if you've done your research properly, uh, we have, you know, the good ones. Then you have others in other places like Mulot who, you know, they have too much talent, but, yeah. you know, few opportunities. But mm -hmm. probably they could join Moringa and harness those skills that they have and, and, and do something good. Mm -hmm. Uh, with it. So thank you so much for your time and uh, we hope to interact more as we continue pushing this agenda of uh, digitization and uh, tech learning and uh, and we hope that Moringa keeps, you know, pushing the, 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 the envelope so that we get more and more people to adopt this uh, this digital mm -hmm. uh, trend that's, that's really going on right now. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you too for having us. Yes. Yeah, and we look forward to doing more together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Ita kwa lenjin. No to go give person of oying ne bo ngana let me get in dai. Eni kwa nyeme peta brani. Kot ko gei tunguni ko ga gei mus ke ngana ko ngeten ke ta uta tutiet ako botte tutik ke tinye ga akso manet ne bo musa ngwa tete ap kasari missing ko ga ba isi ngwa warunet ne bo suguli tagenge ne igo testa ego ik ne indoi em sekta ni ta bo sa manet ne bo musa ngwa tete suguli ne bo moringa ak no to Ko ke beberta na ba ni ka gigesu melo ito mo ni ten ke beberta na isu da ba somok na ba indigo ito ena matian kanya melo ito en kas tv te tu tiet ko na ba ikwen amen.